To test and remove the ficum, you will need an 8 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, a quarter inch ratchet driver, a pair of pliers, a digital multimeter, and a small flat head screwdriver. Notice that we put electrical tape over our meter lead so that we can't short out the ficum while doing our voltage test. The ficum is located just below this coolant bottle. It will need to be moved slightly to test the ficum. The hose clamps with pliers. Simply remove these two hoses. There could be slight pressure. Keep these hoses elevated and away from the reservoir. The reservoir is not completely disconnected from the truck. It has the feed hoses from the bottom. We don't have to remove those. We simply pulled it from the bracket, tilted it slightly out of the way to the driver's side. We've exposed the fuel injection control module. To test the control module, you need to remove these two Torx T20 bolts and use a small flathead screwdriver to pry loose the test plate. The test plate will have a rubber seal beneath it. Be careful not to damage that seal. In this example, we are testing a four screw ficum. This truck is actually running so the voltage is showing 48 volts key on engine off and very important to check it while you're actually turning over the engine. Have a partner do this. If you're checking the voltage on a 2003 model truck or one that has been replaced with a 7 pin ficum, you will use the screw closest to the passenger side while checking this voltage. This voltage measurement should not drop below 45 volts including key on engine off and while cranking or running the truck. If it drops below 45 volts, your FICM needs to be rebuilt. While watching this video, notice that the key on engine off voltage stays in the 20s and the voltage fluctuates while the vehicle is trying to start. done our testing so we're going to remove the ficum. This year is a 2006 model. It has a 10 millimeter bolt here and here. In the back I believe those are two 8 millimeters and they're hidden and you're not going to be able to see them on the video but they're back here. Have to be careful when you remove those as to not drop the bolts, ratchet, or the large spacer that runs in between the two bolts. On some models those two back ones are 10 millimeters as well. This one has 10 millimeter in the front, 8 millimeter in the back. It's difficult to see in video the ficum being removed from the truck while it's still mounted. So we removed this ficum to show the wiring harness close up. There are three wiring harnesses on the ficum. Each has retaining clips on either side of the module. To remove the ficum, it's easiest to push in on the connector slightly, squeeze the retaining clips, and then pull off each of the three connectors. Do this three times and then you can remove the ficum from the truck. This is a six liter fuel injection control module that we just rebuilt. Notice key on engine off during the buzz test. It's 48.3. Now with the truck running it's 48.2 and she runs smooth. After the rebuild and after you reinstall the ficum, you want to make sure that each of the three harnesses click. You'll hear an audible click that ensures that it's seated properly and that these clips latch on to the ficum. You'll hear that on each of the three wiring harnesses.